Um, calling the meeting to order at 632. Um, are there any additions or adjustments to the agenda? Uh, I've got, we're striking the planned purchases that were in the, in the packet. Yep. Okay. We're going the right way. Is this my packet? That'll come back again at the next meeting. But That's okay, because I got two to propose. Did I get a packet? Or did Duncan you... take mine too? Oh, I didn't take your packet. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> you go to, <laughs> I, I go to one. <laughs> you what, Mark? He's got two additions. And I have one that makes three. Okay, what is yours? Oh, mine is I just want to update on um, Rosemary and Matt's discussion about um, investing our, our latent funds or reserve funds. Investing our late funds, can you be more clear? Latent, you know, the ones that are oh, kind of yeah. laying around okay. just waiting yes. to funding update. Get got better, it. I got it. Better okay. interest. You told me to talk to Rosemary. I did. That's true. I did twice. Good. Okay. Duncan, what, what do you have? Um, so I, I see that Brian printed out uh, a copy of the Johnson Rail Trail Advisory Committee purpose statement. I don't necessarily think we need to act on this tonight, but I at least wanted to get it out there so the board could look at it and possibly the committee um, and respond to it. When is their meeting again, Brian? You're on the top of your head. I want to say the 16th. It's right around that. It, it's. I'm not going to remember how to talk my head, but it was. It is the 19th, and our next board meeting is on the 17th. So, okay. I would just propose that <clears throat> folks think about this and come prepared to discuss on the 17th, if we could. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, and then the second thing I have is also not necessarily an action item, but I was asked, I did send out a, a copy of my little report on the Arboretum water system request. I was uh, emailed by Sue Levering today and asked if I would be willing to <clears throat> continue helping them pursue the possibilities. Um, I didn't really want to do that without further thought from the board. Okay, let's let's add that to number four under the committees and volunteer support. And then Keith, um, what is the date of the event you're requesting? I, uh, uh, June 2nd and June 3rd. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna ask that we hold until our next meeting. Um, if you don't mind, and we'll pick it up then. And our next meeting will be on the 17th of April. That's fine. Yeah, I believe actually the, we'll, yeah, the event organizer can be there in person on the 17th. I just figured I would touch base with you all tonight. Thanks. Uh, yeah, um, before you leave, Keith. Keith, if yeah. you touch with me, I'll get you the form that you need to fill out so that we'll be ready to go on the 17th. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, it okay. also should be on our website if you want to just download it yourself. Thank you. Thanks, Keith. We'll see you or whoever's going to represent next time. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, reviewing invoices and orders. Um, does everyone want to just take a look at the orders that Rosemary provided and call out any questions you may have? The only question that I had was already answered by Brian about the how to play sports <clears throat> ski recreation reimbursement. There was already information on that because they reimbursed at a greater rate for some people. They did. It likely, I think this year it would have been over a thousand and likely would be in general. Uh, the Board in the past, this has just been one of their regular operation, part of the regular operations. So the board hasn't approved these individually because we, when they when the obligation is incurred, we don't know how much it's going to be yet, and uh, it is just a regular operational part of the ski and ride program. 
Um, it was because this one had some difficulty with it, it got a little more scrutiny and uh, yeah, I wanted to raise it to the board's attention. Uh, yep, go ahead. How many more interest payments are we gonna make to do it? That's what I was gonna ask. This is our very last one. Oh, that's I thought we were done. Okay. That's what I thought too. That's why I questioned it. Me too. Awesome. I wanted to say under the same thing. Okay, cool. I have a question about looking about something. Um, there, there is still a uh, a blue box over at Legion Field. I'm not exactly. I don't think anybody's skating anymore, so it would seem like we might be able to get a respite on that if they can pick it up between now and Tuesday night. Um, the port potties he's talking about. It, yes. Yeah. I didn't know what you were talking about until you talked a little longer. Uh, but yeah. So is that you or Dean? Uh, that'll be Dean. Um, you know, we'll, this week we'll kind of review our plans for the summer and everything that's coming up. I, I actually had my calendar reminder today to come off on portal left for the summer. Well, if it, if it costs more money to take it out, put it back, then it does just leave it there. Just leave it there. But if we can save money by removing it, yeah. that's what I'm suggesting. Now, that's based on the oven committee, so we've got a better idea of when they're starting it. I don't know what their season's like. July and August. Okay, so they don't need it during June either. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, are we ready to move on? Review and approve meeting minutes from June 20th and June 27th. Uh, March. March. Uh, sorry. March. That's that June. So I'm just kidding. I should know better than to repeat it. Okay. March 20th and March 27th. I just had one comment. And I'm not absolutely sure I'm right about this, but I think Paul Warden uh, stated at the beginning that he wanted to expand the discussion about the ARPA uh, or about the oil fiber net um, to include an ARPA presentation. And I'm not seeing that in the minutes. I, I, don't, I know he did it. I'm just not sure exactly when he said it, but you know, it, it should. And was it in the I, th I thought it was, and I'm not seeing it at the very beginning. I guess I didn't realize that that was something that was added. Maybe I, I, I missed it. I thought that was he wasn't planning to do all along with that presentation. It was a presentation that had more more parts to it than we. Okay. Than so, what was reflected in the original. So, so it's a lot of sentence adding, saying, saying what. Basically, that Paul as a, as an added agenda item or or agenda addition uh, amendment that Paul asked that it be that the presentation be expanded to include an ARPA presentation. So that that right? was that at the beginning of of when he talked, or at the very beginning when you guys invited me to the meeting? I think it was at the very beginning during this discussion about changes to the agenda. That's what I remember. Yeah, so. I don't think it's okay. So is that your motion? Are you going to motion? Um, if we get that included, I will move to approve both sets of minutes. Okay. So moved on contingent on. Yeah, in that language, but I think that is. Okay. okay. Do you have a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Have it. Okay. I was going to say that this makes me a bit rubber band because the things we just go on to just reviewed in that statement packet, in this packet, and it has the invoices behind it if you wanted to look at it. Okay. Um, okay. Select board issues and concerns. What do you have? I picked on it last time. No issues. He wanted it to be a more positive, positive thoughts, you know? Oh, yes. Well, we did talk about that in the email planning for this. It didn't change it and make it to the agenda. So. All right, let's move on. We might just keep it like this. Might. <laughs> okay, next 
So nobody has anything now. Anything worth celebrating? <laughs> the beautiful weather, of course. But my business. Treasurer's report. Rosemary. Okay, since we paid out the industrial park loan, should we get a round to do it? Yes. And I have, we have. Is that something you'll take the action on? Okay. Um, I think we have four outstanding liquor licenses. And last week I sent them a reminder notice saying that this was the very last time that they could try to get for approval. And I haven't heard any action from any of them. Who are they? Um, Dollar General, there's a guy in the store, but I'm not, not in the store. <laughs> okay. So hopefully they get back to you in the next two weeks. Or they're not selling these Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's love that. Is that the same for tobacco? Yes. Oh, and uh, smoke in the shop is not submitted in the boy the other place. Yeah. The two places right That's outside of tobacco. Yes. They also got notice. Is there any reason since the since we don't even sign those anymore? Is there any reason not to just authorize Rosemary to forward it on if we if she gets it in a timely fashion? I still think it needs board approval. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's I mean, could we grant approval contingent on you receiving the application? But I, is is there any kind of a time crunch if we any kind okay. of time issue if we don't receive it? It comes after the seventeenth of April. Let's maybe do that next time because I wonder about yeah. We should just do it next time if she told them that she already gave them the deadline of seventeenth. Let's just see if they came in. I like the thinking about them. Uh, funding, oh, what else do you have, Rosemary? Um, I uh, contacted the uh, community bank, the other bank here in Dawson, mm -hmm. and they have a money market that's going to be almost what they're telling us. I'm going to have the money into that one. That way it's easy to look what we need to do with it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. What are there, are there any? Uh, penalties or fines or fees if we decide to pull it out of the money market. And what what would you um, would there be reserves or cemetery funds or any other cash laying around long term that you might consider putting over there? You don't have to answer right yeah, now. Yeah, we only have reserve funds. No. Our cemetery fund for the pop cemetery is almost like two thousand, and that's over there. Now. So, yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering if we're maximizing that four percent. If there are other, if there's other money, to ponder it. Well, in total, we've got quite a bit of money in reserves. In reserves, there's still quite a bit. In Revolving dedicated loan. funds, but that'll go down that quite a bit this summer. Can't move that. Can't move revolving loan. Okay. No, there's no way anybody's going to send loan payments and everything for two dollars a month. Yeah. And but the reserve funds could be. It could be. I don't. I don't see why we wouldn't. I mean, since there's no penalty for pulling it out. Yeah, and we only spend it every so often. Yeah. Like we're not gonna use, it's not gonna have heavy transactional use. Right. Do, you, do you have a sense of a number that we might be talking about? We're up about 650,000. We've probably been on a couple hundred thousand other reserves. That's, that's, that's real interest. Yeah. Even Evan would go for that. 
Yeah. I might have to come up to Mark's house and shake his couch out to get that much money to move around. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that I mean whatever you can move into an interest on. Yeah. Okay. Thank Excellent. you, Rosemary. Thank you very yeah, much. thanks. Do you have anything else, Rosemary? Do you have anything else, Mark, related to money? No. No. But I'm going to buy pizza one day. <laughs> On my own pocket. Okay. Next is beautification committee appointments. So uh, Adrian Stevenson and Blake Parker have been recommended for appointment to the beautification committee. Uh, they've attended a meeting, met with the chair and but, yeah, they're recommended for appointment. Um, sorry, remind me, it's uh, Adrian Steffs and who? Blake Parker. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone like to move to appoint them? I'll make a motion to approve or to appoint uh, Adrian Steveson and Blake <laughs> Parker to the beautification committee. Is there a second? Are they, um, they, I'll second and then for discussion. Yep, go for it. Um, are they are they additions to or replacements of? They are additions to. And they've been looking for appointments for a while. Yes. Yeah, they're only at four members right now. So the committee is that would be six now. Is that, is that correct? From what I have. Speaking it up right now. Did you look up on the spreadsheet? Old school. Does that question need to be answered before we vote? They have four right now. They have Kyle Nace, Blair Watson, and Lauren Philly, and John Keith. Right, can you speak up? I didn't think it was Lauren Philly, Kyle, and who? Uh, Kyle, know. Blair Watson, Lauren Philly, and Jonah Keith. John Akiva, sorry. Good. What it, it, has the has the beautification committee weighed in on whether they yes, want? Yes, they addition? desperately want them. Yes. In fact, they'd like a full time married. <laughs> All right, back to the point, Mark. Okay. Hey, uh, any more discussion? No. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Blood sugar a little low. Uh, probably good. Chocolate, maybe? Yeah. Right. I didn't have any. Okay, yeah. Brian, look, uh, we'll have fiber net, fiber net, article find the allocation. So, uh, up next, the Lamoille FiberNet ARPA fund allocation. There was uh, a little bit of discussion about um, whether the uh, whether the board's allocation of funds had been properly warned, uh, and we have enough time and an opportunity to kind of take a corrective action ahead of any you know any more serious concerns about it. So would the board, that's kind of the correction, or the, the, the question is, would the board like to uh, affirm their previous decision? I would move to ratify the board's previous decision granting $50,000 in ARPA funds to Luma Alpha. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 No, no discussion uh, about raising again. You want to discuss? Okay, do you want to discuss? No, no. I'm fine. But you went right to pass the voting. <laughs> no, I want to move things along. We have this. Right. Is, well, my motion was to ratify. It's just to ratify. We already discussed. <laughs> uh, and all those opposed? Nay. I was going to vote. No. I <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we have a request for a letter of support for the United Way. Uh, they're interested in uh, a grant to perform an equity study in our region. Yeah, they're asking, they're only asking for a letter of support. It's time they already have one from Snow. 
and they're asking other boards. Yeah. So I would move we submit a letter of support to you. Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Arboretum water update. Yeah. I just took a bite of cookie. We got it. So, um, it wasn't really my intent to discuss the actual report itself. We can certainly do that if you want. But I was asked by Sue Levering via email today. Her her comment I sent I sent her and all a copy of this report it, that everybody got. Um, her comment was, "It looks to me like we can, you know, this is more complicated than, than we thought, but we could still be working on it. Would you be willing to continue helping us on that?" I haven't answered her email yet because I wanted to at least have a discussion with the board as to whether or not I should. Um, in an official capacity, help her do that or not. Um, mm -hmm. Does help mean taking a position on any argument, or does help mean just helping answer hard questions? Um, I suspect that they would be, I don't know this for sure, but you know, as, as I pointed out in my report, this involves some questions over um, legal easements, securing easements, et cetera. Um, my assumption is they're going to want some help doing that. I'm not entirely sure that it's appropriate for a select board member to be negotiating those easements, which is part of the reason I wanted to, you know, run up by you guys, whether or not I should assist them. And if so, whether there should be limits on what that um, assistance should be. I think the last time we discussed, um, we discussed in terms of like getting a project plan and a good organization of what this would mean as opposed to pursuing anything specifically. And I think we're still at a point of like understanding what this would mean. And I know you've done a lot of work on this already, so thank you. Yeah. Um, so I just want to throw that out there. That was the last board discussion. Which is exactly why I raised the issue. Yeah, I mean, I think if there's simple items and you're comfortable helping with it, helping them with it, that's fine. But I don't think that this needs to be your project to do the majority of the legwork. But it already sounds like you've done more legwork than the committee that wanted it, which is great. It's all great information, but we have a lot of other irons in the fire to dedicate board members' time. We should do it fairly for all committees and. And if it's their project, I feel like there's a somewhat roadmap of getting there. And I believe that the committee should be taking the majority of the time in that. But I'm just one vote. Yeah, I mean, I think um, kind of like what you said, Beth, uh, we all kind of were supportive of getting more information and i think you've done a lot of that um and you kind of put the ball in their court of here's the next steps for you here are the things you got to look into um, i think I'm, I'm still supportive of them carrying forward with the project and if they have questions that you can answer then that's great but uh yeah i don't think you need to you know put a ton of effort into this With the with Shane, have it. Yeah. Do you yeah. need a motion, or is that no? Kind of no, a, I was Are you comfortable with that? I, I mean, am. that's just our okay. Yeah, I mean, I I candidly, I I would be, I would not be comfortable, especially since the board hasn't discussed the, you know, the actual report yet, which I assume we will at some future date in time. Mm -hmm. um, I would be. Quite uncomfortable having any specific conversations relating to easement sort of like that I mean, because I think it's just not clear who I would be representing in that process. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the report you did. Yeah. Okay. I do think it's worth saying while we're talking about it that 
we have this tree board for a reason. We've set up the arboretum for a reason. And the long term, I think having this set up is a good thing and almost necessary for them. So I, for one, do think that it's it's a worthwhile goal to pursue long term, even if there are some challenges, you know, to get there. But I am also just one by it. Yep, and I, I think we should. I think we should have that discussion as a board. And if the direction of the board is to go in that direction, I'd be much more comfortable participating on that level. Understood. Okay, I think you got you got what you need. I do. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, next up is select board fire station. Woohoo! This time. This is here. the fun one. That's, That's what everybody's here for. So uh, I don't know if everybody's here for it. The people on Zoom can't see it, but there's 50 people in the audience <laughs> right now. And Evan will be proved a liar shortly. Uh, okay, so I printed out last year's priorities. Um, they're on the whiteboard already. And um, they're in order, so the number leading the description is the order in which we prioritized. So <clears throat> this year, I think we should, um, if we have additional items that we want to add to a prioritization discussion, let's first take time and put write those items down and put stickies on the board for new items. Um, so it will involve everyone getting up and moving around. Uh, select board members, if you want to use the gold stickies right there, and folks in the audience, if you want to use the light yellow, you are welcome to add your ideas too. Um, so I think we're just going to take about seven minutes-ish, I'll set an alarm, um, to go ahead and grab a Sharpie and grab a Post-it and throw your ideas down, and you can feel free to put them up on the board, and then we'll do some coupling and some voting afterward. Is that this whole list that you can add? There's, there's, okay, there's 22 the items. Most simple person. Yes. The, yeah, yes. the list in the packet is the- Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. So the, Which are yeah. the ones that are currently on the yeah. Last year's, yes, are the printed out and cut out uh, on the board. What if there is, I, as I looked at these, I thought in my mind that there was either some overlap or some I think expansion right. of those. So if that's the case, I think we can take, if you're splitting, I think take two stickies, split it, and just put it right on top of the previous. We'll stick it on top of the previous to show that you want to split it. Yeah. And I'm, if you want to consolidate. I'm thinking about expanding or adding to a couple. That's fine, go for it. So, so would those be separate stickies or well, would I put them close to the one that was- Stick it right Create on. new stickies for whatever your new idea is because the scope of the old, old idea is different than the scope of your new idea. So write your the scope of your new idea on the sticky and just put it close to the old idea. Okay. Any other clarifying questions? Okay, seven minutes. Let's get started. We're doing the, the dogs. So where are you again? Again? We'll do it. There you go. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know. I had to argue for you for what you wanted. For a good, for a good reason. Actually, you didn't get any of my yeah. I argued. I you counted the dogs. Listen, I argued for you to yeah. get some dots. Yeah. And I put one there for you. Yes. And if you hadn't come this year, I would yeah. not get the dots for you. I argued the side of this is if we have new ideas at this stage. I think it's not already up there, or if you want to do something differently with something up there. Somebody so, better put CEDC. I thought the same. But I'll do it. We don't have a choice. I was hoping I would make it today. Did I show you? I had to leave work halfway through today. 
because my wife had some meetings. So I took him out to check for some leaves. Uh, he likes, you ever heard of Louie? This is the introduction song for Louie. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> like, My kids like Bear in the Big Blue House because at the beginning it's a song, but at the beginning it bears this level after the song and he sniffs the TV screens and it's like, like it's not too crazy. That's, I'm kind of looking at that. And I mean, you know, an NBU is kind of an all encompassing topic, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, the last two years, my community pool got shot down. <laughs> I think St. Albans had to try a few times for that, too. So, you know, don't, don't give up on a bunch of Beth, building maintenance. Beth. What? Building maintenance. Go ahead. What are you doing? My knee hurts. Yeah. I feel like I should move over there. Yeah, Three years, I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, right. Priorities. Uh, you can get maple. No. Why do you ask? Well, of course, get the You get it right from the source. Yeah, I'm going to 
Cheating. He's using his second role. Players by by thin. So like that's for her. Uh three green. Green is body is public. Two employee. Four select board. A TV ordinance. Two town three select board. Economic development and branding is split. 
for marketing versus branding. Maybe we should count them as they are. Mm -hmm. uh, Marketing and branding. Okay. Um, so a step forward for marketing and a um for mm. uh brand. Uh are the ones. Oh, no. Three select orders. Three person, one employee. NDU, one public, one website. One public, one town. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, village merger. Three. Public one. Well, I guess that's what one. Yeah. Building against two select board. If you didn't put your cyber security, that to me yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. I think it has to be. Uh, no, uh, 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 I think it's a given. I almost think we should. I was talking about that earlier. It's almost like. And uh, yearly actions. actionable items. Yeah. Should be in the category itself. And then like long term planning. Because it's kind of like. Like some things work we're going to have to do. Yeah. 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 Right. Some of them are long term, like working towards. So, so like there's a strategy like yours. Rosemary. Yeah. 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 Um, we might. So, and talk about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, equity. Yeah. Equity. Duncan, you didn't come up this weekend. I didn't, you know, I don't, which side of the road are you sure so, uh, you, you know where we live, yeah. like Rick and Marilyn on the big house. Yeah. It's literally right behind their house. So it's going to be like yeah. right between the houses. If you drove in between the houses, yeah, you'd come up on the farm and be here at Sugar House. So you can see the stacks. I guess I've never actually been Can you see the Sugar House from the road? Yeah. yeah. It's a building you can see from the road. Uh, I got a problem with that. It's the weather's good. Well, I was saying that's good. You guys participate in that. Huh? I don't participate in that. Yeah. It's different. Are you, Thank you, us. Are you done? I don't know. I think I think I may have one more. Question. So you got you got some more boils. How's the development plan? Be nice. I'm sorry, I put Still do. Today, I didn't know it was oh, walking on top of the snow. That was so hard. I was carrying my little guy earlier, checking for leaks when we were walking on top of the snow. But I had some shoes on. And then there are, there's this one that Oh, I'm going to get older and they like it. Yeah, deal. And then it's a deal. Never thought about it. Ender, I guess. It's like a year length. I just I yielded it really quick, a few months. Let's get the milk right to it. That that no. calf's mother was the wildest calf I've ever had. I mean, the day I was born, it was wild. Wild. Should have sent her. I sent him both. They both had. Well, 
So, Brian, it looks like we have actually let's move it around a little bit. Right, sheer, but uh, you like give you Beth, you're doing a great job. Uh, our high school is the White Investor Park with nine total votes. Uh, do you want me to organize my board votes or the last total first? Okay. Talk about it. So, first is the White Investor Park. Yeah. Second is the Recreation. Yeah. I got a lot of votes. Third is the ones. Yeah. You know, one thing, like, I like this exercise in terms of long term planning. It's, it's things that we don't get more resident participation in because they both voted. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you could help, if I was a resident, I could show up with two of my friends and we could vote for one topic, it would be the number one priority. Yeah. 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 Well, me and two of my friends, yeah, do that. Yeah, rule, yeah. so to speak. It's a good exercise. Just wish there was more. Yeah, I haven't even read through all of it. That's a lot of that people mean, read it off front porch one the other day. He put it up on front porch. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 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 But that's 160 people is difficult. Uh, I have three votes. <laughs> Sounds bad, but how about both of you? <laughs> 160 people is difficult to have. It's not the most important, it's the important thing I'll eat. Well, in 2020, I mailed out ballots. Right. Do you see a free address return on the yes. That was what, 40, 45% voting? Yeah. yeah. How difficult is that? Open it up. Check what you want. Close it. Leave it at the And I'll bet it's much easier to do that. The state paid for it. Yeah. I know the state paid, for it, but I mean, All if right. we were no, okay. I'm saying if you're doing something like that, you should get like 80%, yeah, or 85% return. Right now, we're I'm young, yeah. I'm not old like you. It's right under a time of your age. I haven't missed a time meeting since I was 22. That's 44 that's, years. It's really good. I'm a late boy. Oh, yeah. You're too young to be late. Okay. It's a, it's a, really bloomer? You're a bloomer. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it's your heart has four or five board, everyone has three set board, real company has three set board, eight people have three set board. I told you I was going to put five dots on one topic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm totally peaceful with the way the APR sits right now. Change it I think we owe them. I'm pretty big select uh, board, as I said. They would take it up. I mean, we even said so we would take it up last year, and I got the wrong student. That was second on the priority list. Are you probably the board? Um, Where do you any, anybody that I've got to, they would like access to the village and how it was about. Okay, or do you think? Which would ultimately have to go. We're talking about to highest to lowest. Well, I have one comment. 
I mean, to me, we, we have hired a new town administrator up there and it didn't rank that high. It's a no-brainer. It's, it's got to be done. done. It's got to, in yeah. my mind, it's, it's item number one. Um, so I, I, but it's, yeah. Does everyone agree with board agrees? Yeah. And addressing um, Rosemary's pending retirement, why vote for that when she's going to retire with or without us? I, I didn't vote for it because I was thinking she wouldn't retire. She got no votes. <laughs> I think there might be fault in your logic. But 2026, we're going to find out how that one works. She's going to. She would be insulted if there were a lot of votes there. The other maybe valuable sorting technique is someone mentioned uh, there's some short-term priorities and there's long-term priorities and having them split up might be helpful. Do you want to do that? Nah, look at this attack. I don't think we need year. to do it this year, but I think it's a valid point. Um, I think it's a valid point too. Well, I, I think some of our long term items, though, have a pretty uh, ticking clock. So, I think for that reason, we should actually couple it with our short term. Yeah. If ARPA wasn't involved, I would actually change my opinion. I, I think that we're going to have a deep discussion about ARPA and figure out how we're going to approach you, using the funds to free them up for other uses or, or free them up from the deadline. Hopefully that's a, a topic of discussion coming up soon because <laughs> we need to do it. The, the other comment, a general comment I wanted to make is it's, it's fine to have a list of priorities, but I also think as a board, it's really important and incumbent upon us to be able to deal with situations that arise on a month-to-month -month basis, um, whether it's dog bite or a citizen concern and complaint. So I, I just... Well, I, I think it's great to have that prioritization, but I want to make sure that we don't do that at the exclusion of dealing with things that come up. Um, yeah, we don't have a choice to do today. So yeah. Okay. Yep. okay. So, in terms of priority order, are there any challenges to the priorities we have right here? One of the things that I mentioned was um, in the Areas where there might be work already done on it. And so, even though it might not be rated a high priority, if you don't address it promptly, the work that's already been done like, is useless or you know, outdated. Yeah. And so, there might be some value in looking at the things that maybe you didn't get a whole lot of votes, but it had work go for them that will become obsolete if you don't address it soon. And also, I just wanted to mention the public safety analysis. We, moved and voted to address that town meeting. And so that's one of those things that's hopefully going to happen regardless. Then it didn't get a lot of votes. You were going to say something? No, I, there, was, there was an advisory vote at town meeting for that. For the no. public safety analysis? Yeah, yeah. non-binding advisory vote. Yeah. And in the survey we did, uh, so what do we think about this order? Right now we have administrator, we don't have a choice, we have to do it. Light industrial, permanent rock facility, park funds, multi use trail, ATV. Uh, I'll stop there. No, I'll stop. That's four. Yeah, I'll stop there. Are those are top five. Those are top six items. Sure. We're, we're going to need to address some road reclassification, most likely this summer, ideally, that we'll discuss at our next meeting. So, okay. I'm just going to ask everybody, though, do we agree these are our top six? If we've got to cut it off somewhere, that seems like, yeah. <laughs> we just have to play debate in that. What are we doing? You're thinking about it. You have kind of the elephant in the room, which is kind of not this concern. We've got to put it all on the list. 
I know it's not something we can resolve tomorrow, but <clears throat> is there some sort of back and forth connection? And they not, not that I'm aware of. Um, not that I'm aware of. However, I did hear that there is a vote coming up. I don't know what it means. I don't know who's voting. I asked who, and when, and why. Something. Um, but there's still a decision on some of the restructuring apparently um i think that, around the athletics and libraries if i understand correctly we're discussing that i don't really know the details Two but items. to your point like we aren't active as a town okay because i'm just throwing out there for consideration the long chains you know for that long time it's got to be on radar or something yeah. I was I was one of those two votes and I was the one who wrote what to do if it closes their downside of this, because that's a real concern of mine. Um yeah. well in in since we have no zoning, they could start selling off parts of the campus to whatever they to whoever the highest bidder is. Well they have luck with doing that. Yeah. If we're talking about the highest priorities, there there is one item that we actually did get voter approval for, um, which was to spend fifty thousand dollars on uh, some form of economic development, economic community development. So, me personally, I think that's a high high priority item is to figure out what we're going to do and and how we're going to spend the money. Okay, so I sort of have that as a subtopic of my behind this. Yeah, okay. I think I think you well, know, we, some people may not have even voted on it because they figured it's something we have to do yeah. anyway. Yeah, I figure that too. Why vote for something that is a given? Because your vote matters. It does, and that's why See? I think about other things. Cheating the system. Okay, so if we add this, if we add this over here, we're like one, two, three, four, five. I mean, are you in the top five? And okay, wait, let me just ask. Does everyone agree about moving economic development higher over? Right. I would. I mean, I would put the town administrator and economic development there as how one and two, one and one a. You know, okay. it's sort of part of the greater discussion of a governance. Must, must do things. Yeah, and we'll look pretty foolish if we because these are any ones for the other things. Yeah, yeah. Cybersecurity more way down. Okay. So now we're talking town admin, economic development, latest field, permit rack, and our phone. Those end up being our top five. Where's the merger? Over here. I don't think I got it. Oh, did it get some? It varied a little bit. <laughs> so, so, Beth, here's a thought. I think Mark makes a valid point. We, we kind of have to do number numbers one and two on there. Yeah. So to me, they're high priority, but are they the same as some of the others? So here's the thing. Like I, everyone can say, I do all of these things, but do a lot of these things, most of these things, I agree, like I agree. But I think that we need to be really clear about anything that is not number one, number two, number three. If we get a rank, we're gonna have to do the top two. They will check off our list. Once we do them, they're gone, mm -hmm. right? Other things won't check off our list. Once we do something, we'll do something else. The question becomes, what should we be thinking about? What is the first thing we should be thinking about all the time? And if we always know what that answer is, because we've done this ranking, that's the point. Mm -hmm. 
If there's a whole other thing other things we need to do, fine. But how can we do something that is small enough that gets us closer? And it means you don't have to do all of um, uh, maybe we have to do all of these. <laughs> uh, we don't have to follow the right classification. Maybe it's a we do everything that could be class three. You know, I don't know. It's here. But right. this should be basically our guide of what we think is important. So if we if we knock off the first two highest numbers, then the others in essence move up. They move up in the rank. By yeah. Unless we have a conversation that we write them. We mark off the top two highest numbers. We can cancel the meeting for the rest of the year. <laughs> Just let them do everything. Okay. We can't solely focus on anything ever. Yeah. Operational. Yeah. 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 A lot of operators. So we can take, say, we want to put an X amount of capacity to this thing. I like that idea. So this thing would be whatever the top thing on slip is. Which is the line duster part. So every meeting we should have that on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Every month Just we should have the capacity for it in theory. Yes. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Not, not that I like the light industrial part, but we should have it. But it's, it's okay. The so, do we agree this is the order? I love it. Yeah. Okay. So we're not gonna chart, we're not gonna argue the point that current rates limits we call this out saying. See the future. We're not going to argue the point that uh, rec facility is less important than ARPA funds. I don't know what it means. It means asking for a permanent rec or a community center, rec facility or community center to be built for the obtained and built or purchased and outfitted. Created in some way. Kind of like Colchester just approved. Last year. Well, if that's going to be if that's going to be the highest priority for the select board, I'm going to have heartburn with it because yeah, I'm calling it out. Yeah. Uh, and is everybody else in the same vote? Well, they only got one select board vote, right? Yeah, I was the one select board vote. The one, the reason that I put my vote up there is I do think that's something that long term should be prioritized. Um, I, you know, I, I put it up there for that reason. Um, I don't know if that should be in the top. I don't know if I would put it above ARPA funds for my personal prioritization, but. Well, you know. Let me ask you to put it above Rail Trail and Trail Trail. Yeah, I think a lot of that is over with, and that's the reason why I would say looking forward, yes. But. Uh, over with being what? There's some stuff that we're going to be able to do on the town level to deal with the Rail Trail as it opens up, but as far as planning for it, I mean, it's it's almost done being constructed, you know? Um, okay. The the rec facility, again, is something I think, you know, looking forward 10 years down the road, it, it helps us to start planning these things and, and prioritizing a plan like this. So that, you know, should money come available, should a property open up, we're prepared for it. Okay, and when you uh, talk about it in that, yeah, in that context, then I have less heartburn about it. <laughs> sure, don't you think a lot of these coincide with each other anyhow? And like the to me, like having a community center or a permanent rec facility is kind of one of the same, but it ties into inviting all these people with use of the rail gal mm -hmm. or using the river or mm -hmm. cellulars. Um, and then just every local community. There's definitely a lot everywhere. Like, you have one thing you can get from one of the So, I don't know, in my mind, like, it's not like you just dismiss it. Like, you, like I've lived in a town for 13 years, and I don't understand why a community center isn't a topic that we could have been wondering. Like, it could have been built by now. And I, so I just want it, like, so, so I can actually refer to it. <laughs> Join the rec committee. Do you think that a permanent rec facility would not increase your taxes? No, I'm saying that shouldn't be the only funding. Okay. I think that on this, I have a lot of reasons for activity in those towns. 
I don't think rec as Johnson Recreation has a lot of options to actually add in new types of activities, it's like for repeat activities. And it's pretty lame considering what is available out there. And I actually totally agree. Yeah, it's a constant fight with the gym space. It's just a constant like fight of like trying to find space. So how is space not important? Or could we be like you know, they're scaling, scaling. So they have an open pool. Do they still have a swim team? Like, can we teach swim lessons up there? Like, that's also that can be filled year round with parents who look and hunt for the stuff and find hours for this. So we can freeze in the lake, you know, for like, what is it called? The swim remodel in Eden or something, or teach, teach America to stop. I don't think it's like, I'm curious, I believe it's actually really caring that we can be fun. I like for it. I just can't justify it being above actually a lot of these things. I can't justify it being above Grouch Gal. Grouch Gal like, is for me. I can't justify it being above Grouch Gal because Grouch Gal just opened. We have to push marketing. We want to bring people to Johnson to do what? I'm not saying off the Grouch Gal. I'm saying I want to bring people to Johnson to Mark's point, get them to work town, and then they can go to the rail trail and they can go to Smugs and they can go to the ball and do your thing. Maybe the town could open a bunch of Airbnbs up here. Yeah, um, we could cross from some cubicles. Supplies higher enough the funds could give valuable guidance in how to spend those funds. If there's something that you're called up higher than that, yeah, that's a logical place to direct that money. Or you would go ahead. Yeah, I agree. That, that, this is one reason why I think it would be helpful for us to have short, mid, and long term categories because. Then we can say, okay, this is this is maybe a higher priority for the long term category, the rec facility, but ARPA is, you know, one or two in the short term category, being the next two years. And you know, as I just said, like the ARPA can branch out to a bunch of other categories. We can address a lot of things on that board using ARPA funding. That's true. Yeah. We could get some more colored stickers. So I hear you, we need to prioritize. We just need to prioritize. It's about our vision for the year. That's it. It doesn't mean we don't do anything. It doesn't mean we can't do these other things. It just means that it is a tool to redirect our attention to the highest priority thing if our attention gets away from that highest priority thing. That's it. It's just a tool. And for that, I think we've done a good job. I think so too. And we didn't cross some things off the list, which is very nice because it was quite a daunting list. <laughs> and I came in about halfway, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, is this our list? <laughs> Just so are you going to do it the same way we did it last year? Include everything that's on the list, right? Right down yeah, to. Yeah. It's a fast stretch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that, 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 um, I didn't write any of it down. Yeah. Uh, I've been only got yeah, I know you. No, I mean, you look at the scribbled stuff, the bottom half. That's just you ranking it. Well, that's me looking at this list and saying, are these still my priorities? I so I, I think I did that by putting some things up there. So that the article funds, if in fact we gave clearance to. And then looking at operation stuff, and therefore it was deadline in that time was a way source of priority. Is that correct? In theory. Yeah, I didn't do it again. We just found out that priorities. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's because you were wrong. Like, the the actual list is the development 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 well, my, Maybe next year we my thought process on economic development coordinator tradition is that it should be helping us look at a wide range of things, including microfunding yeah. um, and, and, you know, the impact of the closing on MBU, the impact of the rail trail, all of us, I think, next year. you know, are, are an important reason to have that position. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.
I'm going to come back to Brian, and you'll share this out. Will you do me a favor, actually, Brian, and share it out with the board, and then also share it That's out. Steep. Not the call. With Donna, so Donna, you, if you could attach it to the minutes. state, would be glad. Yeah, uh, 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 the state would be glad to cut it. Uh, I would be glad to actually be able to charge. Let me know on your email address. Is it on the line? Or is it going? I think you're flustered, though. I'm not flustered. Are you sure? Are you flustered? Thank you. Probably the time. easiest going person you'll we'll ever brother. meet in your life. Yeah. I, I think you're a little brother, actually. He's not the same thing. She did go to school with one of my sisters, didn't she? Uh, she was younger than me. Hey, Evan, where are we on the agenda? Okay, moving on. Her birthday was. Thanks, everyone. That, uh, that is always a fun and <laughs> challenging exercise. Next year, I challenge you all to bring a friend. Yeah. So just me. That'll be good to get more. I agree. Okay. Um, <laughs> you brought a good job. Carrie. Bring two. Hi. That could be treacherous. <laughs> two friends? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's be a lot. I don't know. I'd, 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 I'd be, I'd be hard pressed if I had to bring two friends. <laughs> Sure, you could have brought yeah, a hair. I wait for come to these. So I'm not. I should come to this one. This is a good one. Yeah, I could have brought a great Okay. Yeah. Ready? Ready to get back to business? I'm yeah, ready. sure. Why not? I don't yeah. think everyone's ready to get back to business. Okay. Town administrator search planning. Let's right. do it. Yeah, this is really a board discussion. It's coming during my report, but uh, uh, I, I'm not taking an active role in that. So, yeah. So Beth and I did discuss um, the report that was sent out to everyone. Hopefully everybody got it. Um, at, at the bottom of that, I guess there are, you know, some action items needed. Should I go directly to the action? Oh, uh, you have floor. So I, I, let me let me also say that I did have a conversation this afternoon with Kathleen McMahon's McMahon's, who is the select board chair in the town of Jericho. Uh, she said that they used the Vermont League of Cities and Towns um, head on her services. Uh, they found them very useful. Uh, when I got to the point of asking her how much it cost, <clears throat> I almost choked. She said $8,000, <laughs> uh, which I thought was a little pricey, but. Um, Say eight for eight. Eight, eight, eight thousand. For 18. Uh, yeah, that's we're not common. made of money. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's what he does. So, um, yeah, the I guess the first action item is: uh, Do we want to have them prepare a written proposal for the board? I will also tell you that I looked into a couple other options, and I don't know if it's worth. You know, getting like the the outfit out of medicine resource um, was another one they're doing the current search for Thetford. Um, uh, Thetford. Um, I, I don't know if you if you want to get more than just the VLCT proposal for that, or whether you don't even want to do anything and try and do it ourselves. Um, I can tell you, having done it before, it's uh, a whole lot involved. Um, and it's not a simple process, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so it's really two questions, right? Uh, is the board interested in obtaining the services for recruiting, let's say? If they are, then there's another question, right? Well, yeah. I mean, the ultimate question is, do we want them to put together a written proposal to then have the board react to? I would say, why not? Yeah, I'll absolutely. tell you right where I stand. I would like to see more than one written proposal. I agree. If we can get multiple proposals. If you can get one from the LCT and municipal resources, that's what I want to see. Okay. I think we can get a few. It's yeah. over proposals. It's over five thousand we're looking at, so we should try to get three bids. If we can't, then 
And if it's over 10,000, it should be sealed, but I guess we won't really know until that time. Yeah. Yeah, like 8,000 is kind of on the teetering edge, so some could come in over 10,000, but. Let's just get their in proposals. I think that's a good idea too. So if possible, I can I can put some time, I can devote some time to that. It, it would be, I think it would be nice to get it by our next board meeting if possible. To get uh, the proposals back. To get proposals, yeah. If you think it's doable, I'd like to you see think it. that the uh, the people were asking will be able to get it back that quickly, turn it around that quickly. I I suspect the lead can get it back, turn it around quite quickly. Um, others, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we can aim for that, and if it doesn't work, we can report back to the next board meeting that we weren't successful. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think there's a certain immediacy involved in it. I try to get moving on that. Yeah. As soon as possible. So if that's, if that's okay with you guys, is it okay with you, Beth, if we continue to try and Yeah, this? definitely. Yeah. How long would we usually wait for bids to come in if we put something out like this? Normally, probably at least 30 days. 30 days. Uh, at least 30 days. That's not required that we would wait that long? Not required. I find it really, I'll be impressed if we get that many proposals in two weeks. Yeah. But in the interest of really giving everyone a chance to put in a proposal, I would be comfortable with waiting up to a month. Um, I know I, I do agree that it's something we need to move on quickly, but um, I, I like to have more than one option. And it sounds like you think that VLCT can get something turned around quicker, but if others can't, um, I want to give them more time. I don't think we're going to have a ton of choice from who we're going to get, who is qualified for governmental, Sorry. small government um, recruitment. There are probably a few choices, but I don't think there are a ton of choices. Right. The, the other possibility, other than going with a big name firm like Municipal Resource, uh, would be to see if there is a recently retired municipal manager or administrator who would be willing to do it, you know, to conduct a search. Um, I know VLCT is using the services of a retired municipal manager from Wellston, I believe, um, in that capacity. So it's not, it's not like reinventing the wheel. It's, this is something that Certainly could be done. I I did it myself as a contractor with a couple of tents. So it's you know it's certainly within the wheelhouse of uh, of a qualified uh, you know retired administrator, and we might be able to get that done cheaper. That I probably can't turn around and do it. Yeah, um, but it's worth you know if, if you're interested, I can put out a few feelers and see if there's anybody that wants to submit a proposal. Mark, Is that the type of thing where if we put it out an RFP, do you think those types of people would, I mean, I, I guess, it, it, you know, if you're able to put out feelers and get people interested that way, that would help. But if we put out an RFP, would there be folks like that who would just be interested in the job, do you think? Uh, if we put out a formal RFP, that's a bit more involved process. And, you know, personally, I think it would behoove us to try and get proposals earlier, sooner than later. That, that having said that, that sort of begs the second question, which is should we attempt to find an interim administrator? If we could find an interim administrator, I think it frees us up a lot on. The, the necessary process for finding a full-time replacement. I will say that the Jericho experience was they were four months after they hired the LCT to conduct the search before they inked the deal on a contract. So it could easily take us four to six months to find a qualified person once we've got somebody on board conducting the search. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just gird your loins for that. It's, yeah. it's not going to be 
you know, we hire somebody a month later, we get somebody to fill a spot. It, right. It ain't going to happen. So yeah, not too. Too. Mark, what were you going to say earlier? Uh, I was going to um, just put Jeff on the hot seat. This is what he does for a living. Is is pump people down. Do you have anything you'd like to add? You know, not a recruiting specialist, but everything that I've been saying is true in terms of like um, I have expects um firms, you know, like the Vermont League that are more specialized in that are mm -hmm. actually give the best value because they already have those relationships. Mm -hmm. Whereas a firm that doesn't have those relationships is gonna cost way, way more. That's why I say they have a lot of so far. And it's probably not right like that that already kind of knows someone's qualified in the area. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, I mean four to six months probably for that type of position that's so specialized. Well, I will also say that from my own experience, a professional hunting firm may well do something that the Vermont League of Cities and Towns wouldn't do, and that is get a list of serving municipal administrators in Vermont, New York, New Hampshire, Maine, and send them individual invitations to submit their application. Vermont League of Cities and Towns isn't going to do that because we are members of the league and we would all kill them if they went out and cherry picked our okay. yeah our people. Um, so that's so and that's part of the reason why a professional head and owner might the cost might be greater is they might be casting a wider net. Um, well, I'm just using kind of PPT to send them a lot. But, um, yeah, it is kind of fun. So there's that. I mean, just so you know the difference between BLCT isn't going to be sending out a letter to all existing municipal managers and administrators in Vermont saying, oh, Johnson's got a position available. Um, whereas, you know, an, another firm like actually do that. Is this the kind of thing where we would use LinkedIn and these job I mean what yeah Instagram. But you're you're well, hitting was... the world when you're doing that. You're not hitting your mm, specialized right. audience necessarily. But do we necessarily I'm I'm a big believer in a bright motivated person. individual. Individual yeah, I agree. not necessarily an old retired town manager or a young retired <laughs> Thank you. And it's full of confidence. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I, I would like to, I mean, Evan would be very good at it. Well, I, you know, I will say from having done my, this search for Cambridge, they right. hired a young person who didn't have any Minnesota so sports major or something, right? Uh, she was, yeah, she was a teacher at a private school. All right. Music, music and art. Um, she ended up being extremely super they loved her right but it was like to use the quote from Catherine McMahon's today they also hired somebody who didn't have direct municipal experience and his comment was it was like drinking from a fire hose for the first year and a half yeah um, oh I suspect but if they are ambitious and excited yes then yes and there's there's Absolutely value to that. There's there's also value to having somebody that has a little bit of experience. Um, yeah. There's uh, I see both sides of that. Yeah. And, and doesn't UVM have a school of rural development? Aren't there some center for rural? Center for rural, you know, there's people graduating out of there that might like to stay in Vermont. I mean, there's... you don't have to go to a job fair, Mark. Or um, so are you suggesting that it's not worthwhile that, that you'd rather have us conduct the search or that I think I think that it's great to have VLTC do it, but I think that they ought to um, be thinking about people that are coming out of college and, and LinkedIn and other other options besides experienced town administrators. Let's see what I like the idea of just casting the net and seeing who would give us something back. Um, for different recruitment agencies and specifying that we're not opposed to being a little bit more open-minded to someone with the right energy, like making a comment like that. So that's asking for quotes 
within two weeks, right? Just kind of broadening the horizon of quotes. Mm -hmm. It's too early to bring up my old hashed up idea, you know? Put something on the town trucks. Sounds like you're going to bring it up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. What will do. If Johnson wants you to carry. You could put it on the plow. How about people could read it. Diana? I'm actually a little more familiar as a former Morristown employee with Morristown politics, but it might be worth looking in that direction too for a model because they just recently hired a new town um, administrator, mm -hmm. manager. And, and right off the select board. Right off the select board. Yeah, right off yeah, right the select board, exactly. Shane? And so, everybody, <laughs> welcome to something very similar. <laughs> yes. Right. So, I think just maybe keep an, an eye on the mission. Yeah, there's a lot of other towns around are doing it. Don't feel like you have to. Like, right. There could be people wheel. right in yeah. this room that want the job. Are you looking I'd at like, Carrie? I'm just looking across. <laughs> I'm just looking at all of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'd like, like the quick answer. I'd like quotes in two weeks from me. If that's kind of the original question, and I wouldn't mind you reaching out with feelers. How you ask for those quotes, I'll support that's verbiage. And if it's not possible for two weeks, I'll report back in two weeks. We'll just say, back in two light weeks the car on fire. The thing with the feelers, the only thing that I hesitate on when I hear words like feelers is, well, I'll just say it, and I'm not trying to imply anything by saying it. This is, has nothing to do with the town of Johnson. But when I hear people talking about like looking for employees for feelers, I think men's club is the first thing that comes to mind. So I just mm -hmm. want to throw it out there uh, that it's great to network. I'm all for networking. Definitely should always network. If we're going to network, let's cast the network nets wide. That's all. Um, were you? Uh, I'm not. Sure. Were you talking about putting out feelers for a uh, town administrator, or putting out feelers for someone that might be willing to submit a proposal? That's a good clarification. Someone that would be willing to submit a proposal for recruitment. For recruitment. Okay. And does that does that? That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. then we can um, guide them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to your point, Shane, I think it would be well worth if 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 we got that rope, it would be well worth perhaps Beth and I, we're supposed to meet uh, this Thursday. So perhaps we can meet and sort of narrow in the focus on what we might be looking for in terms of those services. So kind of the concept of an RFP, but RFP light, if you will. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so we other action. Items. Yeah, we got other action items. So the other action item, uh, I think we go straight to three. Um, do we want to check in further on options for hiring uh, an interim? Um, and I think that really is kind of a question of VLCP said they don't provide that as a service. I think if we ask them. They might be willing to say, we know some old retired guy who has experience that might be interested in, to do it on an interim basis. Um, an exorbitant amount of money. Well, I, I, this is going to cost us money. Money too. But I, in my mind, the advantage of having an interim is I think it. I think at the end of the day, it's really important that we hire the right person, and I don't want to be in the position of hiring somebody just because we have to hire somebody. I would much prefer to hire the right person um, for the position. Um, and I think if we were able to put on the services of it, it would free us up considerably to make good decisions about long-term hiring. Something that came to my mind when I was thinking about this was um, that we have a stack of resumes from people who had put in for the economic development position that some of those folks do have experience in municipal government. And I didn't know whether we could potentially look at that group of people for an interim position. Um, and it 
might be helpful for us in the long term if someone is a good fit to, to have that connection and, and bring them in for more in the future. But obviously, since we put out an RFP for that, I, I don't know what the you know, the legal specifics of that would be, but um, that was just a, something that came to my mind when I was reading your email about this. I don't think we should do that. If we're looking for an interim, we should post for an interim. And if the same people apply, that would be cool, but I am not actually in favor of reaching out. Because I think it sends the wrong message. One, because we already told them that the, we weren't going to select them for a position. And two, because um, it's not a position they quite apply for. They should have reapplied for the position, telling us why they want the position. Yeah. It's a very different, a very different thing. You would be asking someone to do. I'm open to the idea of an interim. If you could. I don't know how I feel about an interim yet. Yeah. The tough part for me is, you know, so Jericho had uh, roughly four months, right? And if, if we're lucky, we've had four months. If we hit seven, we're going to be dead in the center of budget season. Hey, Jericho had the advantage of having an assistant planner who stepped up to be an interim administrator during that yeah, time. They, so they, had, they have more staff, more money, higher budget. I don't think yeah. they have a lot bigger staff. No, our staff's about the same, actually. Is it really? Mm -hmm. They got a better. And they have a three-member select board too. That must make meetings so quick. If you got rid of me, you'd be done. Right, golden. Um, just have Rosemary do it. Stop yeah. it! <laughs> right, don't put up with this crap. You can throw things at him. I guess. Yeah, keys. <laughs> we can take. We can take the temperature. Over. You're not receptive at this point, Venerum. I am, Mark. I, I, I think well, we should get our proposals back and see what's out there. I would like to talk. If we're going to talk about interim, I'd actually like to spend time talking about what an interim means to everybody. Because I have a funny feeling it means something slightly different to all of us. And I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. I do think we need to, though. Um, before we get even that far, we need to work through the job description that needs to happen. We'll talk about that a little bit on Thursday, probably. Um, you know, there's some work that needs to be done. I think people are ready to talk about interim. Fair enough. Bring it up next meeting. Well, I think we need, I think we, yeah, the, the rest of the items on this, on this list sort of relate to next steps and whether or not we want to have a special work session kind of devoted just to those questions. I'm a strong advocate for that. I think we should do it. Um, How about Saturday? What, what's third? What did you say? Are we meeting on this Thursday? Junkin and I are getting together Thursday. There. Yeah, Unless you want to have a special meeting. <laughs> we could all get together. No. That's my eyeballs are not here. Um, but if we are, we, we really need to, you know, the job description is one major question. Yep. We need to sort that out before we, before we advertise or before we ask a search firm to advertise. Right. Could we meet? Say it. No. He was going to say next Monday. No, I was going to say yeah, next yeah. week because the trustees are meeting next Monday. Yeah. But thanks for putting words in my mouth. He's no, not I'm just sharing the love here. We could do it. We could still meet next Monday. It doesn't matter if we're select or the trustees are meeting. Yeah, we can meet back there. So it matters in Zoom. That looks kind of interesting. Um, I'm happy to meet next week. Hang on. I, I just meet next Monday. I can't meet next Wednesday. Otherwise, I can meet next week. What's the weather look like? And I can't meet Friday. No Wednesday, no Friday. Well, it's new, well, it's new Monday. Let's well, keep it on a roll. Um, and the Tristan, you're meeting up here? Yes. These yeah. just, so we can be downstairs. Be downstairs or out back. 
Yeah, that's what you downstairs. Can we just like do it over there? Okay, Monday it is. Everybody's good on Monday, Mark? Coming together. 6.30? Sure. You want to meet earlier. I don't care. 6.30? If that's a special meeting, do we get special? We, we can change the time if we want to. We get we get extra pay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Do, do um so kids? Do we want to meet at six o'clock or thirty or? How about what's, what's your work schedule like, Shane? I six works for me. I'll be. You get up early, right? Yeah. Six. Six. Evan six. What? Sure. Use your words. All right. Fuck. Done. Hey, it's going in the brain. All right. Could you send us all a text? Sure. Beth, you got anything else? Nope. I don't know. Okay. Else. Well, we did. I mean, okay. Yeah. Next up is um, Vermont State University. Yep. So. We've been in a little bit of touch with representatives from BSU. Uh, they're interested in providing some kind of public forum for residents and students, um, but they're not sure exactly what form that's going to take yet. And that was Senator Westman was? Senator Westman was kind of the one trying to make the connection with the, the town. Would this be representatives from the Board of Trustees or? state legislators or it would be members of the uh when you say board of trustees the um, college, college board, board of trustees, trustees. It, it's representatives from vsu uh i cannot remember the name so give me a second to look up that email chain okay so are we just waiting on a specific request from them well, it's the, the direction that I had over email uh, was, I mean, that was kind of what we were discussing is how involved do we want to be in this? Um, you know, the, the original assessment was, you know, a little more hands off about, you know, we'll help you if you want to put something together, but you're going to put something together. Um, Who said we'll help you? Who is we? The town being we. Uh, we, we, we. We will help. We can assist, yeah, yeah. but. Yep. So instead of we and they, Johnson Town will help the college if the college is willing to put something together. Yes. Okay. Yeah, if they kind of put together a request or something. If they want to use the building for their meeting, I think that's more than fair. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they probably have better buildings than we do. Frankly. That's what I was thinking. I mean, I mean yeah, but it, I, I don't know what they envision the town's part being if they haven't made a request. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, the ball's in their court. It feels to me like, Brian, did they you know, that they should be the ones reaching out to the town and more so to the public mm -hmm. because they've got a, a growing brush fire on their hands. Mm -hmm. And it's not like we're going to do more than just listen, really, or maybe have a little bit of public comment, but I don't see what our, what Brian, our role is. And you've talked to Rich. You've talked to Rich? Yes. And Kat, uh, Kathy? Yes, Catherine Lavasser. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but we've seen it. Yeah. Uh, and, and just those two? Those are the two, really those are the two people that I've yeah. talked to. And uh, they Catherine had indicated that she had some other folks that she'd like to bring to any meeting. But... Have Rich and Catherine talked to each other? Yes. I think this is more... Senator Westman's doing than ours for sure, and maybe even more than the colleges. I think he mm -hmm. wants to draw them out. Yeah. Well, he sent an email, and and I I went back and looked at the email. I missed it. And his email to the town, yeah. to to Brian, 
via the select board was he would he thought it was appropriate for the town to host or sponsor a meeting on the college. I don't remember right now. My take on that is I I wouldn't necessarily want that to be a select board meeting, um, but I'm happy to sponsor or host a meeting if that's useful or helpful. Um, but I, I don't I don't I don't want to invite the college to a select board meeting. It would be a total waste of time. I agree. Um, and, and just not the thing is I don't see the value in the town hosting, frankly, to Mark's point. If they need somebody to help facilitate, then they should ask a individual to help facilitate. I think that's what they need. Like if they're gonna have a community meeting, have a community meeting. We'll probably attend because most of us are interested and a lot more than us are interested. You know, I think this was more than that. I think this was a request from our senator mm -hmm. to host a meeting on an important subject for the community. I think we heard at town meeting a lot of people having a, a large concern about what's happening in the So in that context, I don't have a problem Personally, one select board member, um, you know, being involved in helping them set up a meeting, because I I'm kind of looking at that more like a request from our local senator to sponsor or you know be involved in the discussion or give give the community a forum to be involved in the discussion. In that context, I'm fine with that. I don't want to get in the middle of it. I don't want to you know I don't want to take a position. Or the select board to take a position on yay and a or otherwise. Um, well, I actually think we have every right to take a position because the college affects our town finances very specifically. Yeah, but I, in the context of having a public hearing on that, I, I personally don't want to take a position. I got you. Okay. And I just sort of like, I think that was what we're done saying. I think part of the conversation with Richie even started with some of the citizens here in town and were talking as to wanting some feedback from the college. It's not so much the college wanting to reach out to us to see what we're doing. And I think Richie did the ball on town cabinet. And so I think we should be again, hosting, attending, whatever the meeting. Yeah, we don't have an official role in it. We just we want to know what they have to say for the plan. Right. I mean, yeah. I went to that legislative breakfast on Saturday, an informal one, and, and Senator Westman was very um, concerned with their inability to communicate. But, and, mm -hmm. you know, the college is not putting out to the public what's going on up there. And Rich yeah. was pretty. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty poor, poorly done right at the moment. I didn't know. He said they they have a nursing program out there. I didn't know that. You know, they made some cuts. That's intuition. So, anyways, they did. I actually heard some really good things about their tuition for the 2023 twenty twenty three twenty four year. I did too, but but it's not publicly known. Yeah. Why? Why is that not? Why public? not? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So, so what's our action item from this right now? So we can, like Duncan was describing and, and Rich's request, we can host a meeting and invite the college to come, to present to us and the public. Catherine's indicated that they would come to that. She's, a, she's the president's the, office yeah, she's the contact. Yeah. Uh, Probably it would be a weekend afternoon or something then, right? I mean, if we want a lot of public or an evening meeting or something. We could arrange it kind of whatever. It, it has not reached that stage where we've done any planning on on what that would look like. Just should we, you know, the, Richie has put out the request of trying to connect us together and, you know, would we like to do something like that? I'm certainly open for doing something like that. I just don't know if it's Richie wants us to instigate it or. Given the outreach that the college has done so far, I think if we don't instigate it, it's likely that it won't happen. Right. 
Well, then I guess I would ask the rest of the select board. Do you want to instigate the college hosting a public meeting? Or uh, what if, what if, I would be happy to call. I have met the president and I have met Catherine. I'd be happy to call and say, talk about town meeting, what happened at town meeting, talk about what I'm hearing outside of town meeting and around town meeting and strongly suggest that they actually have an event that they hold for public, for PR reasons and to answer questions that community has. I'm happy to do, make that and, phone call. And you can even speak, I mean, you can say select board members are very interested. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm just worried, like the whole thing about us offering to invite them to a meeting for blah, blah, blah. It just feels complicated and not clear. And I think that is definitely one of their PR problems. Things are complicated and not clear. Us being in the middle of it is going to make it more complicated and even less clear. So I think that is the kind of the message that I want to give and ask how we can help. Um, Do you want to loop Westman in on this while you're... I can, sure. I mean, I can. I'd like to talk to them first. Yeah, talk to them, talk to Rich, because he definitely has some influence. And I, I don't think it has to be complicated. I think, I think it can be as simple as offering them a a place or a forum. My, my own opinion is the school gymnasium would be, I don't think, mm -hmm. I don't think this spot is the right spot to do it. The college forum, has 49 people. The college certainly has places. Are members of the public going to feel comfortable going up to the college to, you know, would they, would they feel more comfortable if it was a town event at the town gym? Yeah. Um, I suspect they would. Which, which is, you know, I, I guess I instigated this whole thing by bringing, bringing it up again, um, which is why I'm at, I am more than happy to offer a forum, a place. I, but that's all I think we need to do. I, I just think it would be, I, I don't want it to be a select word meeting or forum. I want it to be a community opportunity to ask questions. Yeah. About, you know, Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Could it do we think that we could ask Senator Westman to organize it and then offer the space? Do, do you think that's something that he would I I or best could have a discussion with him? Uh, yeah. You know, I think Spencer, he's pretty busy at the yeah. Right yeah. Now, I think Beth, you reach out to the college, keep Westman in the back of your mind because he definitely has lots of leverage mm -hmm. with the yeah. colleges. Okay. Perfect. That turned into such a so debate. You're following up on that vet. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Okay. yeah. All right. Uh, next up, uh, discussion about the Economic Development Roundtable uh, and planning for that. I've got another in your packet, another updated current agenda. Uh, and I've got a meeting on Thursday with. Pat from LEDC and I'm going to double check the name again here. Does anybody know what the status of the rail trail is? Is it open end to end at the moment? I don't Technically, believe. Technically, I think they've opened all the sections. Have they not? Okay. I, I thought they did in like December, January. Yeah. The, yeah, well, there was something woke it that wasn't done. That Fisher Bridge, no, but I think there was one right, right past the village on the left by the sugar shack. They were still excavating them a couple weeks ago, but I think they finished it. Well, they finished. Finished. But there But more importantly, is some, at some point there will be a grand opening of it. I assume Bernie would miss that chance. Are we going to invite him to Johnson? Yes. Yeah, you're going to invite him? Go ahead. I'm going to wear my hat. Okay, go ahead and invite him. 
Well, let's talk. Let's talk about one more kind of planning commission. Everybody else, It'd be nice to invite you to have the the, the celebration for the opening here. Um, but about our round table, uh, we've got the current agenda here. I've got a meeting on Thursday with Pat from LADC and Jenna from uh, Vermont Council on Rural Development, where we're going to focus in on hosting facilitation, kind of final steps. Uh, for the round table it's coming together pretty well uh i'm pretty pleased with this agenda uh that i think meets yeah. some of the requests that i've heard from the board about you know wanting to have you know action actionable items to be <clears> the <throat> final result but also having um a little bit more open-ended discussion leading up to it uh what's going on with the date we have not set a date yet. I think that we probably will uh, run a doodle poll for the getting the date after this uh, meeting on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Looks good. It looks good too. I like the way it's on its own narrowed down. Okay. Good. Um, Brian, are you thinking later in May or is May just kind of a placeholder for now? Or? May is mostly a placeholder for now. Uh, when we originally envisioned this, we were aiming for uh, April, mm -hmm. and that's obviously not going to happen. And we had enough discussions going back and forth about the agenda and what things were going to, what we what we were going to discuss, what was going to be included. That it's just become clear that April's not going to be the date when this works out. So uh, I think May is just the next month. You know, May, be June. Yeah, uh, we'll run a poll of uh, responders who have already said that they're interested in attending, get a final date, and then we'll do another push for uh, kind of expanding our list of attendees. Uh, you know, now that we've got a final agenda and we'll have a final date. Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. Okay, Northern Borders. All right. So I sent you a few email updates today um but they have had the information session for the uh catalyst grants uh and we got a couple pieces of information to take out of that uh, i also have a, a meeting set up with uh another catherine who is the state coordinator for northern borders um, where we're going to go over uh, our application our planning for that um a couple things to take out of this and out of the conversations that we've had in the training today. Um, the a requirement of being eligible for this is to be cooperating with uh, what they call a local development district. LCPC qualifies as a local development district. Um, also engaging with LCPC on this would provide some additional continuities when my current contract runs up. Uh, so I think that going to LCPC now and asking for their assistance and asking for their, their cooperation in administering this grant uh, and grant management would be, would serve as well. When is the first deadline? The first deadline is April 21st. Thank you. And that's for the letter? That's for the letter of intent. Uh, the letter of intent has also gotten a little more intense than it was in previous years. Um, I've got a rough draft that I'm working on for the letter of intent if anybody wants to get a preview of that, uh, but it, it is you know, a work in progress. What is intense about it? Uh, we have to have a project narrative. Let's see, it's the... Got some of this in here. Uh, we have to have our project narrative, our budget. Uh, we're we have to we're going to have to have some planning done around how we're going to comply with the environmental review process. Um, that we're going to have to be able to describe how we'll be able to do that and meet their 
uh, the required timeline for initiation and completion of the project. Uh, what kind of, when it says that describe how the project aligns with uh, uh, objectives and scoring criteria as referenced in the 2023 Catalyst Program ampl uh, Application Manual, what is that, like what type of criteria gets high scoring? The highest for us, we're going to score pretty well on most categories. Um, and I don't have all other categories with me, but the the where we're going to lose a little bit of ground is we're in a our county's in a middle. Uh, it's not an attainment, but it's also not in. We rank in the middle in terms of need for our county. Um, and that's one of the higher scoring criteria that we won't be eligible for. There's also uh, demographics of need, uh, which we're also going to be missing. But uh, there are scoring criteria that will score well in, in terms of prior investment, showing community support for it over multiple years. We're going to score well on, um, there's a section where they're going to consider the resiliency for future economic developments that this is above the floodplain and diversifies our economic base uh, that's going to qualify well uh, on their scoring criteria uh, how does it how does it diversify our economic base the johnson's economic base and thinking about statistics that i don't have in front of me but our economic most of our jobs in Johnson are in or near the floodplain. Uh, so we are generally very hard hit during major flood events, and it could severely impact the livelihood and the work of a lot of people and have a major economic impact on the town as a whole. Uh, so having more jobs located outside the floodplain I see. gives us resiliency to future environmental disaster. And resiliency is what they mean by diversifying? We are we are becoming more resilient by diversifying. But uh, okay, my question though is about that diversi diversification is about being outside of the flood floodplain. Yes. Okay. What what are those? sort of along the same lines of what you're pointing out, Beth, is I think two things are really important in this. Number one is this letter of interest or intent. If we don't score well on this, we won't be invited to submit an application. Correct. So this is A1 highest importance to be able to get this letter right correct um so to you know to your point Kath, it's really important to well i'm sure you're doing this right but the application needs to be really tailored to the requirements that are prioritized in the grant manual mm -hmm. all right and you know really laser focused and targeted to those so we we got to highlight our strengths and acknowledge that we might have some weaknesses um, mm -hmm. My point is, this letter is really important. Um, yeah, you know, personally, I'd love to see it before we submit it. Mm -hmm. I think all the board members probably should. Mm -hmm. I think the earlier you can share, the better, because the more we can. I'm thinking, like, in something like this, where they're referring to the manual and the rating system, understanding those high ratings is one thing fact finding to support the high rating is another. And I, we are actually a pretty diverse group in terms of our interest, <laughs> which might be really good in terms of fact finding. Um, meaning if there's multiple ways that we can support an argument, we should with facts about the town. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to send the draft that I have so far and the criteria 
and where those I do have that map of where where that intersection is right now of you know the what criteria the sections are supposed to be referring to in the is it a table like the 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 scoring criteria is in in a table. Yeah, okay, good. Can I ask you so is the proposal being considered here strictly for the central part? Uh that's gonna be part of the discussion also. Uh, and we hadn't gotten to the Okay, what's the other part? So uh Paul had sent us an email about requesting the town consider uh supporting an additional request for support for the CUD. Um, you just want a letter of support or you want the town to do all the like work? You just want a letter of support saying the town supports it or do you want one of the things I read is that one of the ways they rank things is that um, projects that cross different investment lines, if you will, in different address different community needs. So I thought of asking if we were targeting just the investment work when we have an opportunity here to make that across across the network and but um so the the, from the information session, they strongly discourage a town from having more than one application. In. But the CUD would be eligible to apply itself. Oh, the CUDs are all going to apply. Yeah. yeah, there were a, there were a lot of them on on the call today. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they are eligible to apply themselves, and the LDD, the local development district which LCPC qualifies as, will not be penalized for submitting more than one application that they're partnering on. So in terms of getting support from LCPC, we're not in competition with anybody. I mean, we will be at the selection process, but we would not be, part, we would not be penalized if the CUD also partnered with LCPC and went, but we would be penalized if the town made more than one application. So is that clear, Paul? Yeah, I'm not suggesting we submit to it at all. My question okay. was if the town's proposal is very narrow, we might not run it down. And to to more than the light industrial park? Right. But, 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 not to, but not to the CUD. Because right. they're going to do that. Yeah, well, I threw uh, wiring in as, as one of the possible infrastructure things that we could add if mm -hmm. we wanted to, independent of the CD. But okay. that probably complicates it. I'd be happy to leave that out. But I do think the, if I read it correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, I actually certainly didn't check this, but I think addressing more than one specific topic is viewed as a strength in their ranking criteria. It is. Um, yeah, having. I mean, Kind of the, the they're looking for bang for the buck uh, on that kind of criteria decision of are you affecting more than one uh, region or is this a, a something where you've got multiple regions cooperating together for a single project you know how many people are affected by it uh, and so you would say the light industrial park with a big fat fiber optic cable going through it I think that. I think that the, the light industrial park meets three other criteria that they're looking for transportation, basic public infrastructure, and uh, basic community infrastructure. The community infrastructure would be the, if we wired that up for broadband. But just, just to point out, there already is a fiber line <clears throat> bisecting the property. It's on the 34 5 line. Is uh, it, is it public uh, that third that fiber optic line, as far as I know, is owned by Belco. So it is whether or not Belco would at one point in time Belco was willing to make 
a few strands of that fiber available. Um, that's a that's a topic that could be explored. Where does it go? The the fiber, um, the fiber uh, is attached to the thirty four five sub transmission line mm -hmm. that goes to the Green Mountain Power substation across the valley from the village of Johnson Water and Light substation to college. Okay. And it, it it goes. Belco has a fiber backbone to every substation, every large substation in the state of Vermont. I think the co-op the co has fiber of their own in the headquarters. Uh, they do. Okay. So when we say light industrial park, what are we talking about actually building up there? Is it just the roads and water sewer infrastructure? Is it a building? What is it? Are the proposals that we have made, uh, and I'm continuing to use the same framework, uh, has been just infrastructure so road water sewer electric internet okay um that doesn't determine future use of any of the lots or anything but so it's not we're calling it the light industrial park but there there isn't anything prescriptive about what the town could choose to do with it in the future do we have the mumley report any update on that and I ask because in theory, that could be some fact to support our. That is going to be necessary for our application and it would be very helpful to have mm -hmm. uh, for our letter of interest. So have you talked to them at all? I've talked to him recently and he's getting back to me. Even if we had a factor that we could apply, there was a, an initial buildup cost mm -hmm. <laughs> in the initial study, even if we could apply a factor to those initial numbers, um, you know, idea. maybe maybe you could yeah. you know give you a, a sense as to what might be a reasonable number to apply to those. The, the other thing I want to say is is uh, I understand what you're saying about LCPC. I'm I'm totally in favor of getting in touch with them and having them be well because they're automatically a partner because of this local development. It, it's a requirement. Right. So. Um, I'm I'm less comfortable with the idea at this point in time in just turning over grant administration, et cetera, um, to LCPC. I, it seems to me that that's a decision that could be made later. Um, I'm just less comfortable. Doing that. I mean, if we can find a replacement, if we find, if we decide to go with a community economic development coordinator, to me, that's tailor made for um, you know what that position would be able to do. And I'd much rather have that be income that comes to the town and income that goes to LCPC. And by way of full disclosure, I'm a director of the LCPC uh, on your behalf. So this is on the public record. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it would be any surprise to Tasha Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do we have anything else we need to talk about related to northern borders? Be careful. We're 10 minutes ahead of schedule. Um, so Paul, I appreciate your email. And by the way, usually when you send emails that have lots of good information in them, I forward them. Just full disclosure. <laughs> so the board is I mean, you can. I actually encourage it. You right. would be joining a large group of people. We get a lot of those emails. We all have to realize that everything that we do is public information. So we have to be somewhat careful. Uh, yeah, I just forward. I forward and notice <clears> it. <throat> um, but I do forward a lot. A lot. Just ask Mark. <laughs> Mark opens his email at once a week and then he's bombarded. And then he comes in and asks me what the important emails are. Yeah, really? Every morning I get my it's coffee. I say, Shane, because I know he lives on the internet. I don't. I'm I really have a glass. Okay. Over uh, any other business? Meeting adjourned at eight forty-six. Woohoo! Donna, big stars. I had a